think of 1857 and you think of the rani of jhansi one of india's bravest women that was the year when the indian soldiers openly turned against their masters the british it was the first organized fight back and indians called it their first war of independence it was also known as sepoy mutiny it was the revolt against the british government lakshmi bai too joined that mutiny in 1858 after she had become the rani of jhansi when lakshmi bai was born in banaras the wise one said she would become a queen her parents morappan tambe and bagirathi bai named her mani karnika after the river ganga her mother told her many stories from the ramayana and the mahabharata and manu as she was called was very happy unfortunately bagirathi bai died all of a sudden when manu was only 4 Morappan Tambe moved to a place called Bithur there he worked for Baji Rao too who had once been the Peshwa Peshwa was the title given to the Maratha ruler Manu did not feel sad for a long time in Bithur she quickly made friends with the boys Nana Saheb and Tandia Tope Nana Saheb was Baji Rao's adopted son with them she learned to write and shoot She also went to school although in those days girls were not taught to read and write she was called chabili the sweet one by everyone including baji rao because of her charm and wit gangadhar rao the king of jhansi married her after the death of his first wife rama bai who had died without a child when gangadhar rao married manu she was only 15 and she was a child herself The bride was given a new name Lakshmi Bai Rani of Jhansi The people of Jhansi welcomed Lakshmi Bai into their hearts and she loved them too Soon the people of Jhansi were thrilled to know that their king at last had an heir Yes Lakshmi Bai had given birth to a baby boy in 1851 but this joy and happiness did not last as the baby died after 3 months and the people were heartbroken in those days it was common for the rulers to adopt a child if they did not have children so the king gangadhar rao chose 5 year old anand rao his cousin's child to be his adopted son on the eve of the adoption on november 19 1853 a colorful ceremony was held and anand rao was renamed dhamodar rao gangadhar the british were informed of the adoption by the king who told them that his queen lakshmi bai would rule jhansi until the boy grew up soon after he had made the adoption the perils began with the death of gangadhar rao the governor general lord dalhousi announced that he was taking over jhansi since the british did not accept an adopted child as a legal heir to the throne this was only a cunning plan on the part of the british to take over the land